Before we get started, I am doing a giveaway on my channel, and to be entered, you're going to have to like, subscribe, and comment giveaway, $25 or £25. That will end when I hit 500 subscribers. If you do not comment, you do not get entered. It's just simple as that. And I just can't thank you enough for subscribing and commenting and all sorts throughout the time I've been doing YouTube. So thank you, and I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get to it. Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new episode on the Vanilla Time server and today we are going to be making a pumpkin and melon farm automatically as well. We're going to set up three double chests for it just to flow down into hoppers into chests. But before we do any of that I'm going to show you around the base a little bit because we haven't recorded in like two weeks and we've done so much. Well I believe we've done so much. So basically this house is just full. This is all my voting rewards, shulker boxes, tons of enchanted books, goodies, beacons, collectibles, tools, and just much more. There's like three double chests full. There we are. And obviously chests out here. Chests out here. And chests just everywhere really. And basically, off camera, I built this, and this was built by F Whip. And I sort of added my little details, added more lanterns. I'm just gonna basically base this village around this build palette inspired by F Whip. I'll link his channel down below, and he's very talented in what he does building, landscaping, just tutorials everything really um so i built all this and to be honest i can fit loads of chests in here this is going to get removed i actually went to the never when i was streaming over at twitch.tv forward slash you forced to kill go follow because boom quality content got six wither skulls so in a future video we'll be killing two withers getting two beacons and we're just going to get some diamonds, going to get all sorts. What happened over here was there was a raid. And it basically killed every single villager and iron golem. So it's like, I'm going to rip it all down and build fresh. Rip the roads out. I haven't done it yet. But yeah, every single villager died up here. And over time, there, there was zombie villagers that would just convert over. So I've got four of those now. And once you convert a villager zombie over, you get one of the best trades ever. So basically down here, um, I got mending for one emerald and one book. I got that from converting a zombie villager into a normal villager. So it, these all changed, just new professions, but I need to make a breeder, start getting iron golems and stuff like that, make iron farm. Um, but yeah, this is it. What I've been doing so far, ripping out houses, smelting down kelp. I made a temp kelp farm over here. It's just in the water right here. I've just harvested it. I made a temp automatic wheat farm. So what you do is just click this lever and the water gets released. Pistons push it back. Then obviously this is what I've got so far. And what you do is just replant manually so talking about off camera things i actually got max enchantments on my armor and when i enchanted some armor pieces i used to get like fire protection but that's not what i wanted so i just put it in the grindstone removed its enchantments got some xp back and re-enchanted it that's how i got this helmet i got maxed everything besides mending because you just can't get it from enchantment tables this and that straight away and obviously these you can't really add anything to which I hope they add something to them. Um, but max tools, besides obviously efficiency four, uh, five, I mean, maxed, obviously, sword. I got another smite sword with looting for wither skulls. Um, I don't know what else I'm missing. Oh, wait, power four. And I think that's all for that. Um, but we need to focus on this pumpkin and melon farm. So this here is going to be the design on the bottom. And this is basically the design of what the farm's gonna be. So when I put 
Let me just get a block over here. Once a pumpkin and melon grows, it'll give an update to the redstone torch. And there's obviously a redstone dust there, which powers this and just goes back and forth. So that's basically what we're going to do. Just this. All around the bottom, obviously up here. Another one, another one. So it's going to be three tall. And let me just kill this person here. Yeah, it's a person. Identifies as a person. So yeah, we're going to build this around. Then we're going to actually start on the farm itself. So I'll get that done. So we built it up. And now where this dirt is, is where our chests are going to be. And just behind it, right here, is going to be where our hoppers is going to be. So I'm going to put chest there, chest there, and chest there. See, I'm here, here, and here. And it's looking open the top one since it's a stair block. Now I need to add the hoppers here and what's going to sit along here is more blocks which we can get some from here and basically it's going to run, run along here and it's just long enough for the water to end on that hopper. Yep, I just block this in like that. I'm going to actually make some stairs go up here. So the water's going to sit in here, and now we are going, actually, you know what, to make it look a little bit nicer, I'm just going to add more oak going down here. No, I can't, actually, that's a lie. No, I'm not going to do that. And someone's shooting at me. That's a wrong chest. There we are. Oh, it's him. Boom. So now we're going to add dirt along the top, piston here, another block on top, and two light sources here, plant the melons, and I'll be back when I've done the first line. So basically this is the layout for it, and why I made it one block wider on this side is because I can actually put water behind here, and to do that is quite easy because basically if you have a water source, it can travel four blocks one way and another four blocks this way. So one, two, three, four, here. Put one here, and what's good about putting it here is I can put that there, that there. Nope, wrong thing. Do I not have that block on me? No, I don't. So I made it one block bigger, so I can do this. I didn't want to add, what do you call it? A trap door is behind it, it just wouldn't look nice anyways. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put one here. Add water here, and that should be fine on this side. If not, we could just add one right here. We've got plenty of water, we're not gonna run out. Um now add some more water. Put that away. Okay, I've got two water bits here. Go to the top. And we're going to tear this one more time after this. It's super loud. Sorry about that. Didn't realize it's going to be that loud. And how do we know what's going to work? We've got pumpkins in here. Yep, it's working brilliantly. So I actually put pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon, pumpkin. Right, now it's to add one more water source here. Then above here, you do the same thing. So it's jack o in here. So let me just get my pistons out. I'm going to turn that down actually. There we are. So it's pumpkin, piston, pumpkin. Piston, pumpkin, piston, pumpkin, piston, pumpkin, piston. Then you just carry that on till you hit the end. Like so. And then you just put blocks on top. Like this. Like so. And then add redstone torches here on top of the pistons. 
And what you do here is you go around the back. Just going to do that. And you place dirt on top of here. Because if you're going to add another level, do that. If not, just put blocks, normal blocks on top. And actually, I'm going to remember by putting... So where the redstone torch is, behind the block, that's where the dust is supposed to go. And there we are. Like so. And basically what you do here is the same thing you did on the opposite side. So get your hoe out and just teal the ground. That's why I made it as wide as it is now. So I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to do pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. There we are. And I got loads of pumpkin, the jack o' lanterns from the Halloween event. Did that just turn back over again? Did I put the water in the wrong place? Yeah, I possibly did. Okay, where's the water? It's too low, that's why. Okay. So what I'm going to do is now is do this. I knew it could be too good to be true. Block there. Block there. Block here. And block here. That should tear the ground perfectly. One more. So, block, block, block. Don't hit a flood now, redstone. Wrong thing. There we are. And there. That should be sorted. Don't want to fight him yet. Ah, oh, there's loads of them. Let's see how it's doing. Get some glass. Fill this in. Like so. I possibly changed the front. All depends on how it actually looks. But I could change the back side, make it look more nicer so i'll do that off camera um so that's basically what you do just cycle back and forth if you really wanted to you could just have all pumpkin all melon and come back through and change it look how fast it's going it's just producing like there's no tomorrow let me just kill this zombie and i'll show you that's how much we've got so far and if i have another layer on top It'll be as fast as possible. So I'm going to add the last last row. And I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So the pumpkin and melon farm is complete. And we have quite a few melons and pumpkins in there. And this is the entire farm complete. The stems are fully grown. It's just time to AFK over here. I actually got some water buckets from here. And it just decided to... I don't know. Just glitch out. But I had oak fences here and I'm thinking of making a wall full of leaves, vines, throw some bamboo in there as well. Just have a wall full of leaves, green nature. And on here, the bottom, I'm probably gonna have it like this. But since this is small, it looks great. But on a larger scale like this, I'm not too sure. However, I might put slabs at the top here and add that, add a, uh, glass block here might look a little bit better I'm not too sure but we could always test it later on so that is it for today's episode and if you enjoyed it give it a like if you want to copy this tutorial you can it's very efficient honestly you can keep adding layers on top of each other you can make it as wide as possible it's so great if you want to see more Minecraft content just subscribe turn on the bell notifications and i'll see you in the next one don't forget about the giveaway because when almost at 500 it's almost crazy thinking so i'll see you in the next one see ya